Question at seven. No, it's not a question. How many times am I gonna say question? Question. No, it's not a question. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with the Disney Princess tag. Was not tagged by anybody, but as we all know. I have an obsession with Disney, and therefore, I have a right to film this video. The tag was created by Turtle Sympathy, so I will leave his link down below, and you can go check it out. So without further ado, let us get started! <sighs> Number one is Anna and Elsa, and it is a book that involves siblings. I'm going with Daddy by PJ Ferguson. It involves twins. It is such a good book. I'll leave my January wrap-up down below so you guys can see what I thought of the book. It's so good. Read the book. PJ is such a good writer. Two is a Rapunzel and it is a book that left you emotional. And I'm going with Slammed by Colleen Hoover. I have a review of this book as well. Shameless promotion. Click the card. That's two in the first like 30 seconds of the video. I cried three times at this book which is extremely rare for me because I don't cry at books. So the fact that it made me cry three consecutive times is very impressive. Good job Colleen Hoover. Three is Merida and it is a book that features a female warrior and I am going with Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I have not read this book. I've had it on my shelf forever but it has Selena. I always call her Selena but that's not her name. But she's a female warrior assassin badass bitch. And then four is Tiana, a book that features realistic struggles. And I am going with Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. You know, the struggle of liking a boy. But that boy has girlfriend. What do you do? You struggle. And that's what Anna does. Five is Belle and it is a literary book or a classic. I'm going with To Kill a Mockingjay by Harper Lee. I love this book. I read it in like grade 10 English class and it was really good. It's a classic and therefore it is Belle. Six is Pocahontas and it is a nature book or a book written by a naturalist. I don't have one of these so Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover because butterfly. It counts. Seven is Jasmine, a book about the desire to be free. I'm going with Stolen by Lucy Christopher. It's all about Stockholm Syndrome. And basically, the main character wants to be free from her stalker kidnapper person. And therefore, desire to be free. Eight is Mulan, and it is a book featuring war or battle. I'm going with Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, because the Hunger Games is a war or battle, the entire thing. And therefore, justifiable. Nine is Ariel, and it is a book featuring curiosity or learning, and I'm going with Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrite. It's a thriller about a mother who doesn't believe that her daughter's death was an accident, and it's basically her curiosity of finding out what actually happened to Amelia. It was a really good book. It's one of my favorite books. I gave it like a 5 out of 5 stars. It's, read this book. Roman. 10 is Cinderella and it is a book featuring manual labor. I'm going with Keep Sweet by Michelle Dominiguez Green. I can't say that middle name. It's about the Amish. It's not really about the Amish, it's just like an Amish community where the story takes place. But I'm counting it as manual labor. 11 is Sleeping Beauty and it is a book featuring sleep. I'm going with Sleepless by Sin Belong. It's about the Sandman and therefore sleep and therefore Sleeping Beauty. 12 is Snow White, and it is a book featuring one of the seven deadly sins, and I'm going with The Duff by Cody Keplinger because it is my guilty pleasure and therefore counts. 13 is Megara, and it is a book that features Greek mythology, and I don't own one of those, so here's my Roman textbook. 14 is Alice, and it is a book that features nonsense or another world that is not this one. And I'm going with Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin because basically what happens is you go into this Elsewhere, when you die, and it is a whole nother world where you age backwards until you're reincarnated, and I think that sounds really cool, and that's not usual. So it's unusual, and it's a different world. Hit both nails on the head. Oh yeah. Fifteen is a Maid Marian, and it is a book that features a canine. I'm going with Dust City by Robert Paul Weston. It's a Little Red Riding Hood retelling kind of thing, and the main character is a wolf, and therefore canine, and therefore answers the question. Boom. This was a really good book, too. You should read it. And finally, 16 is Nala, and it is a book that features a feline. And I'm going with The Moreau Quartet by S. Andrew Swan. I have not read this book, but there's a feline on the cover, and therefore, 
there's a feline in the book. <laughs> That's my justification. Alright guys, so that was the Disney princess tag. I'll leave who I'm tagging down below. Hint, hint, it is you. So I will see you in my next video. Good. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the name of this book. Cynthia. Nope, not Cynthia. Sin. Balong.